While many people criticize the film industry for offering bombastic, violent, or vacuous programming, I would like to applaud those producers who are making a difference in the world with offerings such as The Constant Gardener, Syriana, Good Night and Good Luck, and other films that give us a glimpse of a world hidden from view. Filmmaker Robert Greenwald is among those brave producers who dare to speak out. His documentaries outfoxed and uncovered the Iraq War, paved the way for his newest film, Walmart, the high cost of low price. It started with the other films I did, Uncovered, which is about the reasons for the war, and Outfoxed, about Fox News. Fabulous documentary. Thank you. And what we found with each of the films, uh, by virtue of necessity, was how are we going to get them out there? How are we going to get them out there quickly? And how are we going to reach people who either disagree with us or don't care? Well, you can't move quickly by going through traditional gatekeeping. That can, good or bad. You mean the Hollywood film distribution? I mean, yeah, traditional right. the, the movie theaters, right. television networks, cable companies, they just move at a slower pace, number one. And number two, if you go strictly traditional, it's going to be harder to reach the people who are disagreeing with you. I mean, let's think about it for a minute. And again, I only realized this after the fact, but who's going to spend eight, nine, or ten dollars to see a documentary with a point of view that you radically disagree with? Right. Not going to happen. Right. But it's playing at your church. Right. Your neighbor says come over. A member of your family who you can't stand politically says sit down and watch this. That's a whole other story. Absolutely. And that's what we've discovered with, again, each film making more inroads in it and with the Walmart movie our organizer started before I started shooting anything. She was there first, Lisa Smithline, right down in the corner office here. And she started working the groups and calling and spreading the word. And so we opened in a thousand churches. And then we had a student screening in every, every state in the nation. Uh, environmentalists did screenings, women's groups did screenings, labor did screenings. I mean, just went on and on and on. Uh, uniquely because, as I say, Walmart has offended so many people, small businesses, uh, you know, communities. Mm -hmm. um, but it was a great way to get the film out quickly, to get it to all these groups, and then people buy the DVDs. They go to walmartmovie.com, our right. website. They get it, and they become an organizer. In this interview, he also talks about a new television series in partnership with the ACLU called The Freedom Files.